How to Bay This Siberian Husky Dog Whether your Siberian Husky Dog is about to have its very first bath or you are bathing a dog that doesn't like having baths, you'll want to set everything up ahead of time to give your pup the best possible experience. First, give the coat a good brushing. You can count on dislodging quite a lot of dead, shed dog hair while bathing your Siberian Husky. So it can be helpful to try to remove some of that dead hair before you have a sopping wet dog on your hands. It is much easier to work out any tangles or mats in the coat and deal with areas that seem abraded, irritated, or infected when your dog is still dry. If your dog's coat has a lot of tangles or mats that might cause your pup pain as you work them out, spritz on some canine detangler product or conditioner first. This will make it much easier to brush through the coat until it is smooth. Use only shampoo and coat products formulated for canine skin fay. Canine skin fay is different than human skin phage. For this reason, even using so-called baby shampoo or sensitive skin shampoo made for humans is not a good idea. Many dogs have allergic reactions to shampoo and coat care products that are too harsh or concentrated or don't have the proper faith balance. Choose your products carefully. If possible, do a little skin patch test on your dog before bath day to ensure the product doesn't irritate the skin. Make sure you have a proper bath or shower at home. You might consider using a self-wash for dogs if you don't have a traditional bathtub or a more oversized walk-in shower at home. Many cities now have these facilities where you can take your dog and pay a small fee to use their roomy canine tubs and canine-friendly showering nozzles. Get the water temperature just right. You don't have a second chance to make an excellent first impression on bath day. So one thing you want to do is make sure the water temperature is comfortable. Room temperature water is the best choice. Your husky may not be used to warm or cold water, and the sensation may not feel comfortable. Always test the water temperature on the inside of your wrist first. This will give you the most accurate gauge of how it will feel to your dog. Talk to your dog and have plenty of treats on hand. Your Siberian Husky may not love baths, but they love you and will look to you for reassurance, encouragement, praise, and positive rewards. Filling bath time with pats, treats, praise, and togetherness is an excellent way to ease anxiety about the unfamiliar routine. Double or triple rinse your Husky. If any of the shampoo or soap you use gets left in the coat, it will cause irritation or itchiness later. Rinse your dog until you can't see any further suds or soap. Then do another thorough rinse to be sure. Dry and brush your dog again. The husky coat can be slowly dry because it's so thick. To avoid having a wet and uncomfortable dog, you can use a blow dryer on the cool or warm, never hot, setting to speed up the process. Then give your dog a final brushing to remove any remaining dead or shed hair and enhance the circulation in the skin. Finish it with another round of praise, pats, and treats to reward your Siberian Husky for being so brave and good.